Hello everyone. This is a very interesting topic and even uh, as you people know very well how much the carbon dioxide effect to the atmosphere as in the case of global warming and many other impacts. But you know it is totally contrasting feature of global warming. As on one side the global warming is creating the massive problem to the environment. In the other side carbon fertilization is good for the atmosphere. Carbon fertilization is good in many aspects. And this very interesting topic where you will get to one side as carbon dioxide as a responsible to create the massive environmental problems. Second side it is good in many aspects. So how in which dimension it is good that all the entire discussion I will do in this entire video. This is a environment based topic and this is my lesson number 76. You guys are seeing Dr. Abhigri on an academy YouTube platform. I'm working as a director of Purvanchal IS, taking your classes from last 20 years. Two books of mine published on the Megra Hill platform. The one is on science and tech, the second is on environment. There's a highly selling book and highly, uh, you know, successful book for your examination. So I'll suggest to all of you kindly read this both two book. My telegram channel you can see on the screen is the t.mail of ABSC underscore academy. Here you can find out all the entire PDF. So kindly connect with me regarding the PDF and video updates. My Anacademy profile you can see on the screen for the live classes on Anacademy and many special free classes you guys can follow me on the Academy profile. My code is RaviUPSC during joining any courses. If you guys use, you will get extra 10% discount. India's best educator for UPSC, CSC, you will get on an Academy. They are taking your live lessons. So it's a great opportunity to connect with all of them. So 20% of an academy is providing you here. We are providing you 20 printed booklets also with this course. So kindly subscribe now as soon as possible. Here you will get the mini comprehensive coverage of notes, UPSC means PYQs, many mind maps. Everything is integrated in this material. So kindly join now the courses and you get this all the books. An academy is giving you 0% EMI facilities as a loan for UPSC CSC. So everybody, if anyone have a problem regarding financial and all, you can take this benefit. Pioneer Academy is the best option. Reason many of the educators, flexibility of courses, unlimited views, unlimited views. You people can see and live mentorship plus 178 plus toppers even crack UPSC under the guidance of an academy in 2021. UPSC CSC GS combat is on 31st July at 11 a.m. Don't miss it, guys. And use the WPSC code and join this test. Here you will get the opportunity to win a lot of scholarship. So finally, I brought this lesson to all of you after the whole information and advertisement. And the topic is a carbon fertilization. Again, I will repeat my words. What do you think say about carbon dioxide? Problematic reason behind the global warming and climate change. But another side, it is good in many aspects. And it is good in many aspects means it is carbon fertilization. What actually the carbon fertilization is? I hope you guys know very well in the case of photosynthesis carbon dioxide is required. Um, now I'm telling you guys in the case of carbon fertilization, whenever the carbon dioxide amount is going to increase, in this case the rate of photosynthesis in the plants is going to rise. And whenever the photosynthesis is going to rise, so ultimately from the atmosphere we are going to intake carbon dioxide. I hope you guys know very well the equation of photosynthesis 6 CO2 plus 12 S2. 6 CO2 plus 12 S2. In the presence of chlorophyll, in the presence of temperature, okay, in everything you know that methane, uh, sorry, carbon dioxide and water molecule they fuse to each other, okay, they are producing the glucose, they are producing the oxygen, and they are uh, left the around six molecule of water molecules, six water molecules. So ultimately, the carbon dioxide is going to fix into the glucose molecules. So ultimately, from the atmosphere, the carbon dioxide is going to sink into the plant body through photosynthesis. Actually, you know, carbon fertilization is a process during increase of carbon dioxide, the photosynthesis is going to enhance. Okay, but the, but the higher carbon dioxide concentration as it is increasing the rate of photosynthesis is called carbon fertilization. Okay, and here in that case, guys, they increase the water use efficiency also. How they increase the water use efficiency and all everything I'll explain with you slowly and gradually. It is artificial enrichment of the greenhouse gas atmosphere, guys. Okay, so a lot of other guys in this case of carbon fertilization, both qualitatively and quantitatively. Okay, both qualitatively and quantitatively, production increases. And this whole process are a part of carbon fertilization. This is also observed, guys, through the help of carbon fertilization, whenever the atmospheric CO2 level is going to increase, overall the temperature is going to rise. 
So many of the cold climate areas of the plants, they will get more and more benefit in the case of productivity. It is being also observed in the case of carbon fertilization. That is in cold climates, as I can give you some example, guys. The carrot in the cold climates are taking two hours, sorry, two years. So as a biennial plant, but in the summers and where have a temperature is more, here the carrot will grow in one year. So ultimately the temperature and CO2 concentration, somehow they affect the productivity of crop. Similarly, here in this case, I can tell you, okay, if growing various types of vegetables like asparagus, celery, lettuce, tomatoes, or designs, okay, a part of greenhouse fruits like strawberries and ornamental plants, they all even grow more and more fast. And one more benefit, guys, during high carbon dioxide conditions from the atmosphere, plant lose the less water through their leaves. And hence, in the case of dry condition, plants survive. So carbon dioxide, not only uh, it is helpful to increase the productivity of crop, the carbon sink, guys, a part of a plant will save the water. They will not lose water. And in that case, in that way, guys, in the dry condition, plant will save their own life and they survive. Actually, you know, guys, in the higher concentration of carbon dioxide, you know, some more benefit in the case of carbon fertilization. Whenever the concentration level of carbon dioxide increase in the atmosphere, in that case, the leaf opening will narrow, narrower. Okay, it will not open more and more. And this is the reason, again, the rate of transpiration, trans transpiration will be low. So ultimately, there is a less water losses. In this case, it will protect them from the water losses. So ultimately, elevated the carbon dioxide concentration increases the plant growth and leaf photosynthesis even under the water stress condition so that is a great initiative you know guys on the basis of carbon dioxide fixation into the plant body okay then 95 percent of the plants they are c3 nature of the plants and five percent of the plants are c4 of the plants now question is what are the c3 and what are the c4 plants actually just like i'm telling you in the case of carbon dioxide when it is going to fix into the plant body okay CO2 and plus water molecule and then has the presence of sunlight, chlorophyll and temperature. Plants inside the glucose, oxygen and even the water molecule left. In this cases, into the plant body, how the carbon dioxide is going to fix into the glucose? Here some enzymes are required. And these enzymes are what? These enzymes are RUBP carboxylase. RUBP carboxylase are actually a kind of enzymes. Those are synthesized into the plant body. It is a three carbon based compound. And the other side, guys, PP carboxylase is the another enzyme. Again, I repeat, PP carboxylase is the another enzyme. And PRP carboxylase is a C4 carbon compound. Just like glucose, C6, H12, O6. So glucose is a six carbon compounds. So ultimately, around 95% of the plants, they have a RUBP carboxylase. Around 5% of the plants, they have, a, they have a PP carboxylase enzyme. So this is the reason this plant... Okay, through the help of RUBP carboxylase, they intake the carbon dioxide and they fix the carbon dioxide to the plant body since size of food material. And this is the reason this is a C3-based carbon, RUBP carboxylase. These all the plants due to presence of RUBP carboxylase enzyme, this plant is called C3 plants. And the same thing here in this case, it is called as a C4 plant because PP carboxylase is a C4 compounds. Okay, actually, you know, guys, the reason is very simple. Whenever the CO2 concentration is going to increase, 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 the C3 plant have an ability to intake the CO2 whenever it is going to increase into the atmospheric gases. The reason due to presence of RUBP carboxylase. In the case of C3 plant, when the RUBP carboxylase is going to increase, okay, sorry, when the carbon dioxide level is going to increase, in this case, RUBP carboxylase have tendency to intake the CO2. But when, when, when carbon dioxide level increase, in that case, the C4 plant means PP carboxylase have not the ability to intake CO2. And that is the reason in the coming future. If the CO2 level is going to rise, so chances of survival of the C2 plant is more and more and more. And that is the reason here that this is the 95% of the plants, of the green plants are C3 plants. And many of the examples I brought here, guys, like rice, wheat, oat, barley, cotton, peanuts, tobacco, sugar beets, soya bean, and spinach. So these productivity increases because of carbon fertilization but in the case of c4 plant guys it is not good the reason they cannot intake the co2 at the very high concentration level from the atmosphere the reason pp carboxylase have not ability for that carbon fixations example of the maize sugarcane palmillet and salt you know guys some of the report published about the arctic grain in the arctic areas which is the colder areas toward the nor northern portion of all these planets are getting warmer in that case, the atmospheric carbon dioxide is going to rise. 
and whenever the atmospheric condition is going to rise so the condition is possible guys the plant growth in these areas will increase and the arctic areas can come further into the productivity and being as a greening type even satellite observations have shown that carbon dioxide has turned arid desert greens how interesting it is the arid areas where the already the water abilities are very less so through the help of some satellite observation it is also find out like in this area have a productivities and greenish okay it means the carbon fertilization is also helpful in these some of the areas so somehow the carbon dioxide level is creating the problem another side as a benefit what carbon fertilization even some more information of carbon fertilization in the last i'll tell you the one like response to carbon dioxide fertilization may influence the competition between the species definitely when the co2 fertilizations are there in that case the productivity will be there woody species versus grasses they will have competitions native grasses versus the invasive grasses have a competitions weeds and other indesirable plants experience the co2 fertilization as well and that's why there is also possible guys and wanted plant can also grow there you know that some high is a benefit and all lot maximum benefit but some negatives also there even the plants grown under the condition of carbon dioxide fertilization may increase the production of chemical compounds and due to due to formation of some chemical compound there are some they work as to inhibit the growth of some of the insects so finally the plant can have possible possibility to get some resistance against the insects and all carbon fertilization with effect effect what as one side uh, it is a consequences of global warming the second side it is what it is it is a benefit for the for the living planet earth now it is the entire video i'll suggest to all of you kindly go and take this from telegram chat my academy profile is on academy.com or click at the rate of Ravi Pegret 2010. Here you guys can find out my all in that live class and special classes. My code is Ravi UPSC. During joining any courses, if you use, you will get extra 10% discount. Legend Wisdom series wrote to LBSNA. We this started from the 20th July onwards. And I'll suggest to all of you kindly join it and enroll now. Here it will help you in the case of answer writing and your personality development. So somehow when you will go in the interview programs, in your interviews, so definitely your personality development program will be helpful to you to crack these examinations. My courses of science and tech and environment are running now as it is a very important topic for all of you. My courses you will get on the plus courses. If you want to join, to so join on the plus courses with a WPSC code. If you guys have any queries to connect with me, then you can contact directly on my given number 7825860259. So thank you everyone, kindly subscribe to the channel, like and share this video and download this video from the Telegram group. So meet you soon in the next class, some new topics. God bless you. Jai.